Gather round, it's time to have some fun. It's your friend, let's read with Grandpa Ken. Hi, kiddos, it's Grandpa Ken, your friend. Hi, listen, we're going to have some more Halloween stories because it's still Halloween month. And today we're going to do 10 flying brooms. 10 flying brooms. 10 flying brooms zoomed swiftly through the night. Their witches were gone. They were nowhere in sight. Oh my goodness, look at it. They must have been remote controlled, huh? Just like the, the self-driving cars. The brooms began to hunt at the spooky old house. I heard a witch's cackle. Hey, 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 squeaked a tiny, timid mouse. Then down below they saw a glow coming from under the porch, kiddos, cried Witchy Woo Broom One Yahoo, waving her wand like a like a torch. Broom One and Witchy Woo made a pair. Nine brooms flew along through the air. See? You have ten brooms, and one of them gets called down to Witchy, huh? Is that storm there? Witchy Woo cried below. From below, I think that's her red hat on that big giant crow. Up in the sky, the crow did fly with storm riding on top. Broom, too, flew high, poked crow on my, and the storm fell down kerplop. Broom, too, and storm made a pair. Eight brooms now alone through the air. Huh? Yeah. They're getting going. Bree was in a rush. Storm said she was running up the stairs, chasing something fast and small with lots of yellow hair. Oh, what could that be? Broom three went up and spied a pup. That Bree was snugly tightly. Can you come too? asked Bree to Woo. Of course, said politely Woo. Broom three and Bree made a pair. Seven brooms flew away in the air. Yeah, we're down to seven, kiddos. Bree told the broom she saw Betty Sue heading for the shed. She was looking for her bat who needed to be fed. Inside the shed upon her head was a bat. Oh my, oh my, a bat on my head. Broom four, hello, time to go, and they flew off in the sky. Broom four and Bet Betty Sue were made a pair. Six brooms flew away in the air. Well, we're down to six, kiddos, huh? But where is Broom Hilda, Betty Sue asked, weaving with her spiders. Look, 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 her out back, but beware, those spiders are great hiders. Broom five, I'm here, Broom Hilda uh, cheered from deep inside the forest. Zip and zoom went her broom, followed by the witchy chorus. Broom five and Broom Hilda made a pair, and... Five brooms flew away in the air. Now we're down to half gone, kiddos, or half there. Time was running out when they flew over a lake with Miss Trix was swimming. There was no mistake. I'm here, I'm here, broom six, cried Miss Six, and they flew to the water. We can't be late. We need Miss Tix, Miss Tate and Tabby. Can you spot her? Broom six and Miss Trix made a pair. Four brooms flew away in the air. See, you got to learn to add and subtract for everything, kiddos. A hooting, hoo, 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 sound came from above. It was Tabby Owl. Tabby was scared, the owl said. She heard a noisy growl. Broom seven, look. The branches shook. They all flew to see. Tabby stood wearing her hood. Thank goodness you're here for me. Broom seven and Tabby made a pair. So how many more? Three went flying in the air. The moon was high in the sky, and, and the brooms flew back to the gate. I hear a wolf howling. Oh, Tabby shivered, and also wild Miss Tate. An eight broom swooped in. Miss Tate gave it a grin and brushed the, du the dirt off her knees. Broom eight, said Miss Tate. We mustn't wait to the fire. They're all, they're all there, if you please. Broom eight. Eight and Miss Tate made a pair, so now only two flew. Eve, over by the fire, Tate told the crew with a grunt she's been up to something while the brooms were on their hunt. Tate led them to the small stew which Eve was standing over. 
you're right on time. The time, the it's time to dine," said Eve. Broom nine, come closer. Broom nine was a pair, and now one boom, boom flew in the air. Suddenly, they spied Witch Gwen stuck up on the great clock tower. The clock struck twelve, and all called out, "Hooray! It's witching hour! Come and get me!" <laughs> Have you ever heard that one? Come and get me. Squawk giddy Gwen, and don't forget three kittens. The time is here to spook, my dear. Let's fly away my bedding. All Ted Brooms had found their pairs, so they all flew away in the air. Together, just in time, witches and their brooms were flying Halloween all through the air. See? Huh? That's how what witches do. Remember, kiddos, be safe out there. Make sure you can be seen when you trigger treat and go with an adult. Talk to you later. Grandpa Ken loves you. Come back.